Hi everyone! Today we're making spring onion pancakes. So these spring onion pancakes are very popular snacks, street food in Asia. I absolutely love them. So today we're going to use the one cup flatbread recipe that you've been making and turn the recipe into these gorgeous, gorgeous savory pancakes. So those of you who haven't tried my one cup flatbread recipe, I'll put a link down below so you can find out how to make the flatbread and also how to create the dough we're going to use today. So you can use the recipe to create pizza, tortilla chips and gyoza dumplings. And today we're going to make the savory pancakes. So I've been making these pancakes probably more often than a plain flatbread recently because they're so good and they're so simple and easy, you'll be amazed. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, the ingredients you need is super, super simple. It's savory spring onion pancakes. So we need some spring onions. I've got about five here. That should be more than enough. And also we need the flatbread dough. So I made this dough last night and I left it overnight. It's perfectly fine to keep it chill overnight and then use it later. I think they keep well for a couple of days, no problem. So, you know, if you want to make a slightly bigger batch and then just keep the dough in the fridge, they should be okay for a couple of days, no problem. And then we need a little bit of a salt and then we need olive oil. So use the olive oil that you feel comfortable with consuming raw. So maybe use the oil you use for salad dressing rather than cooking oil because part of the oil we're going to eat raw. And that's really it. So let's prepare the spring onions. Okay, so with spring onion, we're going to uh, slice it in small pieces. So I'm going to just take the tips off here and then half it. It's easier to cut. So now I'm going to slice them as thinly as humanly possible. I'll try to exercise my slicing skill, which is not that much and just chop the whole thing into smaller slices. And once you slice them, I'm gonna just chop randomly into them to make them even finer. Okay, now, and now transfer the spring onion to a bowl. I'm actually slightly teary right now, and the spring onion is really fresh. I'm gonna just uh, save some of it on the side that I can sprinkle on top afterwards. Okay, from here, I'm going to drizzle in some olive oil. Um, just a couple of tablespoons, I think. And then I'm going to sprinkle some salt in there. So this will provide the seasoning, but also help the spring onion to welter slightly. So give it a mix. At this point, you can always um, have a dab and then just taste to see how much seasoning you need. And now we're going to just leave it on the side to marinate. And let's do the pancakes. Okay, so I'm going to take the dough here and divide it into four portions. So you could weigh them. Uh, sometimes I weigh them, just make sure they're kind of equal size. Okay, so then four portions. I'm going to just quickly round them up to a little ball shape. It will help us when we roll them out just roughly into a ball shape. Okay, so we've got these four little balls and now we're going to roll them out. So here comes our tortilla press. So if you've never used one of these magical devices and <laughs> they're pretty magical in my eye, I would suggest you watch my pizza video. The link is down below. If you intend to make the flatbreads on a regular basis, I definitely recommend that you get one of these. And I'll put the link to this particular press it's not affiliated, but I'll pull a link to this particular press. Maybe it will help you to find it wherever you are or similar products. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to put a layer of plastic bag on top of it. So this is a normal food bag. And I basically cut up the edges and leaving one edge connected. So you just line up the press with it. So two of these dough balls will make one pancake. And we put one dough ball in the middle and then fold down the top part of the plastic bag. We're gonna close the lid and then just press it gently and apply the pressure evenly and open up. And we're gonna turn it 90 degree or 45 degree. Yeah, it's 45 degree. And then press it down again. 
Okay, so you can see the pancakes getting larger and larger. We're going to do it until the pancakes is about the same size as the press. Okay, I'm happy with the size here. So I'm going to just open up the plastic shield. It's okay if uh, it breaks up a little bit, it'll be fine. So take a plate, flip it on top. We're going to just keep it on the side for a little bit while we're making the second one. We're going to repeat the process and make the second one. Dough board down, plastic shell over, and then just press it down. So layer two of the pancake has been made. When you finish the second flatbread, just leave it on the presser along with the shell, just leave it there. And we're going to take the marinated spring onion we made earlier on. As you can see now, everything is kind of all milled together quite nicely. And we're going to just spoon the mixture on top of the flatbread. Just kind of spread it out and have some oil, this lovely oil. Okay, that looks nice. And now we're going to take the first flatbread and lay it on top. So they're roughly around the same size, so it should fit quite nicely. It's starting to make sense, right? So right on top. And on top of it, we're going to sprinkle some raw onion. So we've saved up a portion of the onion earlier on, and now we're just going to spread it on top. Lovely. And then place down the shell. We're going to give it a gentle press. Just gently, we just want the whole thing to kind of sandwich together. Let's have a look. That looks nice. That's totally fine. So that should come off quite easily. So you can continue and make the second pancake. So this is ready to go on the frying pan. So you can see how simple and easy it is. And now let's fry the pancakes. Okay, in my frying pan, I'm going to drizzle some olive oil. And we're going to turn the heat on. So we want to use low heat. I'm going to add a bit more oil. And then just allow the oil to cover the frying pan evenly. Okay, so here's my flatbread. I'm going to just place it down gently on the frying pan. We're going to use low heat to cook it. So you want to wait for the pancake to firm up slightly before you start moving it. Otherwise, you're going to just break it. Okay, now we can see this is starting to puff up slightly and the edges starting to brown. And now we're going to attempt to flip it around. Let's have a look. Um, that looks good. Okay, so now flip it on the other side. And give a little press. Okay, now we're going to flip it back. Just have a look. Oh, nice and golden brown. It looks so good. Okay, I'm going to just leave it on, on the heat for a couple of moments and uh, it's ready to eat. So here's my pancake. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, the aroma of spring onions is just irresistible. So now we're going to top it up with some more spring onion. So we've got some marinated spring onion we left earlier on. And we're going to just uh, spoon this to go on top of it. Oh, my goodness. It is so good. So you have that cooked and fresh spring onion, that combination. And uh, I'm going to just um, slice it, cut it up in four portions, kind of like a pizza. It's just easier to be eaten. So there you go. That's our spring onion pancakes. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. So there you go, that's the pancakes for you. So easy to make. So there you go, I'm going to just take the slice. Mmm, oh, so satisfying. So good. The combination of fresh spring onion and the cooked ones, and also the pancake, the flatbread, is just perfect. And it's slightly crusty on the side. Mmm. So good, really, really good. If you made the pancake, please try this. It's just such a great snack and a starter. Mmm, I can just eat this all day. Mmm. 
So there you go, there's a spring onion savory pancakes for you. And uh, I hope you try it at home. And I just want to say the thank you so much for all of you who were so kind to leave really, really lovely comments. And it's so encouraging and it gives me motivation to continue to do this. So thank you so much. I make sure I read all the comments. And um, so thank you, thank you so much for your support. So if you'd like to practice yoga with me, please make sure you subscribe to my new yoga channel. There's still a little bit of a technical um, issue I have to resolve, but I promise the channel will be with you very soon. So make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I post the food I eat and also recipes from these channels. So if you like some inspirations or ideas of your keto vegan food, so make sure you check out my Instagram. So thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.